Hello. Hello. And welcome back to the Citadel of Chaos, a draw through. Hey, hi. Hi. Hi, Jib. How, how goes? How was all your end? Um, thank you for the auto hosts. I think there's still one to go through, so that's going to take me by surprise. Um, yes, welcome to uh, the Citadel of Chaos. Here is this week's... You're sleepy? Oh, no. I advise sleep. Um... Yes, here's Mrs. Art for the week. Yay! Flexing to the guard, who's clearly had enough of this. They didn't ask to be drawn this way. Um... Advise watching Chris stream. <gasps> Both of those are compatible. People fall asleep to my streams all the time, apparently. Um, yeah. So welcome. A couple of things. I have fixed the overlay, so that it should update automatically when I change something. So if I do change the skill, for example, it should... Swoosh, there it goes. And then put it back. Um, the other thing I did is I fixed the inventory command. So you can look at your inventory. There it is. My sons, attack the gate. I said it was going to happen. Um, hello, Dark. How you doing? Um, yeah, I, I fixed the inventory command. No one was using it, but when we eventually get lots of crap in our inventory, <laughs> can, uh, that should work now because it's now pointing to the right place. Otherwise, you would have got the inventory for when we did the Forest of Doom, and that would have been weird. Um, yeah. So that's a thing. Um, oh, dry, I missed you. Hello. The sleep channel, yes. Um, but before that, let's let's do a thing, by which I mean game. So last time, it's a little bit of a recap. Uh, well, in general, <laughs> a little bit of a recap. We are playing Beth. There they are, flexing. Um, we are tasked with taking down the demi sorcerer Balthus Dyer, who uh, is planning on invading some nice places, whose names I forget. Um. <laughs> um, yes, the votes are still there. Yes, uh, and you have been tasked with invading or infiltrating the Citadel of Chaos, wherein they stay somewhere. Um, he's a big meanie plant, so we need to flex him to death. Yes. Um, and take him out before he can do bad stuff. Um, but there's all sorts of weird things in this place that he's recruited in his army. So, yes. Um... They're, they're doing... Yes, that's the thing that's happening. So, um, we made it into the main courtyard. Um, let's have a look at some of the things we did there. Um, let's do, 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 do. We, well, we eventually made it into the main courtyard after flexing with the dog ape. The ape dog being unimpressed. Um, we then found the courtyard, met up with some nice people, had a chat. They told us the password to get in, which was nice. Uh, we left behind a vial of liquid. I think that was important. Um, well, the book said it was important anyway. Um... Then we met some people arguing over a dagger. Uh, one of them stormed off and the other one said, I'll sell it to you for nine gold pieces. We don't have any gold pieces. Um, uh, but we can always come back and do that later, hopefully, unless he sold it on. Um, but we know it's a good one. It's enchanted or something. Um, then we got hit by some unspecified arrows and we listened to them when they said, don't go this way. So we didn't. Instead, we found an old man who didn't want help um, and a beholder just floating by. We avoided a hole, picked some berries, and then finally made our way in with this much less well-drawn guard um, compared to Mrs. Submissions. Um, once in, we went to the Corridor of Poor Perspective. There it is. Um, and made our way down to meet a leprechaun who threw a tomato at our face and electrified our hand with a weird dummy thing. Um, he then said, Oh, you can go through any of these three doors with different handles, bronze, brass, or copper. One of them is smelly, and the other two are very dangerous. Um, and we said, Screw that, let's go backwards. Apparently, that was the last thing he did. So, yes. We now return to the Corridor of Poor Perspective. Uh, where is it? Is this? No. There it is. To so the corridor of poor perspective. Boom. And now we are heading towards the end of the corridor to see what is on the other side of... Well, to see what is at the end. And it's, it's a door. You can see it's a door. But, uh, you know, add a, add a small sense of mystery would be nice. Um, Where are we? What page do I need to go to? 
Um, yeah. Right. Okay, what's what's the point of this exactly? Um, right, so we go to the end of the hallway and we try the door. You try the handle of the door, Beth tries the handle of the door, and for once it actually opens. It's not locked. Believe it or not, it's not locked. Um, and it opens, revealing... Da -da 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 -da, another hallway! Some distance along the hallway, the passageway turns to the right and ends shortly in another, in another door. On this door is a sign which reads, Please ring for butler. A rope evidently for the bell hangs by the door. So we went through a door to find another door. That's that's the state of affairs at the moment. Uh, but the door has instructions. So will you follow those instructions? I don't know. That's up to you. Boom. Goodbye, pretending to call the leprechaun. What did the thing say? It said we went through the door at the end of the corridor. Um, that led to another corridor. Um, you were busy panicking? Oh no, that's not good. Um, yes, it said on the other side of the door was another door. Um, and the door now has a sign on it saying ring for the butler. And there's a rope, which you can pull to ring for the butler. I don't know why there was a... If we had to go through a door to go through another door, but... Usually what that means is there's like a connection in the book or something, but I don't think there is. <clears throat> um, it turned right, didn't it? So There's a door here. Just ring bell. For butler, maybe. Possibly. It's not up to me, is it? Um... Blah. Tangled in ca cables. Uh, right. Cool. So, let's do the trick that I did last time. Oop. Straight lines. They're not my forte. But then again, they're better than my curved lines. They're awful. Don't even get me started on my pointy lines. Zigzags, atrocious. I'm bad at drawing, is what I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> not sure what's happening, but bells are fun. Ring the bell. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> so, yes, there's a little... It's just a rope sort of coming out. Coming out the ceiling. Like this. There's a hole in the ceiling. A little knot at the bottom. And then, frayed stuff. Uh, ring for butler, I believe it said. Perspective, what are you doing? No, I wrote butler. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, now to draw Beth, because I haven't for a while. Um... Uh, there's still some smeared tomato. Got all in the dreadlocks. Terrible. Has Beth heard of a butler? I don't know.
bounce to that and thought it said room for butter. I mean, there might be butter here, I don't know. How does Beth? How does she? I don't know. Look at me, do you think I know? The ways of Beth are well beyond me. I have the musculature of your standard farmyard pig. He knows far more than me about what's going on. A butler made of butter. A but but butler. A but a butler. That's terrible. Um, I say I haven't drawn anything today. Not entirely true. I haven't drawn anything digitally today. There, there's something. Um Yeah, it'll do. Um, <clears throat> right, what do we got? Ring, ring. Two votes. One for use Flamio to light rope on fire. That's the thing. I'm not sure what's happening, but bells are fun. Ring that bell. And ring for butter. Well, in general, you seem relatively in consensus to ring the, be ring the bell, pull the rope. Uh, so let's do that. Or let Beth do that. That's it. Uh, what happens? Um... There we go. Um, Beth pulls on the cord. And behind the door you can hear a little ding ding dingling. After several moments the door opens slowly and a hunchbacked misshapen creature, of course it's going to be misshapen, I'm going to draw it, with rotten teeth, ragged hair and tattered clothes stands in front of Beth. Um, yes ma'am. <laughs> what can I do for you? Growls the half-human creature. Uh, yeah, what do you want to do? <coughs> Not a good voice. Um, I 
<laughs> it's half human. So... Doesn't mention what the other half is. What can we get Mist to draw next week? There's the question. Um... Half butt. <laughs> of course! <laughs> How do I draw a half human, half butter? Um... So it's sort of like... Because it said like rotten teeth and scraggly hair, so there's probably like a... Uh, oh yeah, I need to... Sort that out. Um, sorry, I've just refreshed the vote. Apologies if you were gonna... Does vote ditto work? <laughs> Does vote ditto work between votes? There's a question. Did I... I think I programmed it that way. Uh, wait for it to refresh. Oh, hang on. I thought it... I thought I set it up to exclamation mark vote ditto would work. Why is that not working? How dare. Vote ditto. Look, my pronunciation is poor. It did? No, di ditto came up. I'll I'll have to sort that out at some point. Um, anyway, uh, you're quite small. Um, or you know, or we can just lean into that. Let's yes and. Um. Well, precisely, you exclamation mark vote ditto to ditto, yes. No, because some you can't you shouldn't be able to vote for ditto. I set it up so that if you try and vote for ditto, it just votes for the last thing because people were typing in vote ditto and and that didn't do what ditto did. Is this a Dr. Zeus poem? Wait, hang on. You just voted for Ditto, but it voted for something else. No, because you unvoted. Oh, I'm losing track. Don't worry about it. Um, yes. What are we doing? 
you've met the the small butter butler, the but the battle butler. Uh, what do we have? We have one four. Hey, we rang your bell for you. Maybe come in. One four ditto. Of course. Um. But it's so fast with capital letters. Is it? Mm, I have to sort that out. So many things I need to look into. Um, one four. Good day, sir. Might you be able to aid us in finding uh, the one in charge of this fortress? If you don't, I'm going to set you on fire. Um, and another one. Oh no, the the ditto. Oh, the vote. Have I not sorted out exclamation uh, the capitalization for votes? Mm. Um, one for hey hi, what's through this door? We need to find the wizard, the wonderful wizard of. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that. Um, and one for smash gruesome. Uh, oh, it's gone. And one for fix this voting system. What is this, America? Um, no smashing apparently. Uh. So... Generally speaking, there seems to be a consensus of saying, Hi, can I come in? I need to find... I need to find the owner of this establishment. Wizard or otherwise. Um... We ask for aid? We, we, you, you ask for what's going on. Um... So the butler turns around, um, fortunately not saying anything, um, and points down the end of a corridor. Actually, probably would have to say something. Uh, points down the end of the corridor because there's another corridor. Oh yes, why are these doors here? I don't know. But points down the end of another corridor to a T-junction and gestures that you should be going left. Um, he doesn't gesture, he says, you want to go left? Yes, you do. <laughs> um. So yeah. Oh hello, my keyboard did not like doing that. Um. Boom. Uh, so beyond here we have yet another corridor. But with a T junction. It's it's literally it's literally just a is that <laughs> Uh, that's a very narrow corridor, isn't it? Um, <laughs> give me a second. There we go. Now it's wider. Perspective! Uh, so apparently, yeah, there is um, a left and a right corridor. Um, I'm sure this map is going to make absolute perfect sense, because this is definitely what my map looks like. <laughs> Trust me. Um, yes, so he, he says, yeah, left. <laughs> um, after you instruct him of the purpose of your visit. Do you believe that was a wise move? Do you wish to follow his instruction? Decapitate the butter t t t t just for funsies. I'm going to have a little quick look to see what's going on. Just up ahead to make sure I can properly interpret what you guys are going to do. Where's my bookmark? There it is. Uh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry.
Wait, hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, sorry. Just looking at the layout of the book. Um... Funky. Uh, I do want to have a look at something else, though, just very briefly. Give me some time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking at stuff. Hope you don't mind. Just making noises. It's Akira. Hello. How are you doing? Um. I should be more prepared than this, shouldn't I? Um, could have sworn this turned out differently. But there you go. Did no one surprise you? You just woke up. Did you have a good sleep? Um... Right. Um, yes, so Kira, just to catch you up, what's happened so far is we uh, went back to the corridor we started at. At the end of the corridor was a door. We opened the door and there was another corridor. We carried on through the corridor and at the end of that was a door. Um, the door had a sign on it saying ring for butler. Um, so we rang for the butler, who was also made of butter. Don't worry about it. Um, And the butler said, uh, and we said, Hello there, we're, we're looking for the wizard. The wonderful wizard of COC. And we want to know where they are. And the butler said, You want to go to the left? Like that. Um, because there's another corridor beyond this door. Not that good? Oh no, that's a shame. What are we doing? Uh, we are going. Um, go right because uh, going the right way first is for losers. Fair enough. Send Flamio one way and us the other. We'll just sort of chuck the lantern or something. Um, and go left. So it looks like we're going right. So... Um... Nope, we're not. We're going... There's two for go left. Uh... <laughs> go left. Uh, is it time to flip a coin? Do I have a coin? Um, Beth stands there, torn for a few seconds. Trying to work out whether or not to trust this strange man made of um, slightly off dairy substance. Um, what was the word I was looking for? <laughs> Do 
She briefly considers the possibility of going one way and throwing her lantern the other. Um, given what happened last time she did that, uh, she decides not to. Um, there was a small fire. It was bad. Um, go to the local, sp local sporting goods store, buy a drone, and send it down each corridor. Um, Beth remembers uh, her f friend who makes um, small metal uh, sentient enchanted plates um, that just float around in the air and thinks, hmm, maybe I can go and visit them. Oh, no, wait, hang on, they're three days away. Uh, gotta do this kind of quickly, haven't I? Um, and instead decides to go right, by the looks of it. Um, so, we... Beth decides to go right. Um, the butter tutler um, harumphs. Um, and you go right. Congratulations. It's it's as simple as that. Um, so it's to go right. <laughs> Thanks. I honestly thought this this part was a lot more involved than it was. Turns out you just sort of skipped it by ringing the bell. <laughs> Well done. Um, right, where are we going? So you decide to go right. Um, a little up the passageway. You're very proud of your great decision. Okay. Good job. I now do not have to draw the weirdest things in this book. Um, they might crop up later. Depends on what you want to do. Um, a little way up the passage. Um, as Beth walks down it, listening to the slowly quietening squelches of the butler going down the other way. Um, a little up the way of this passage, there is a doorway on the right-hand side. Um, this door has some strange scrawlings on it, but they are in a language you do not understand. Do you want to try the door, or do you want to carry on down the passage? Uh, what have you missed? Uh, do you mean just today, or in previous streams? Um, just today, uh, we came up to a door and we found a butler. He rang the bell, a butler came, and he told us to go left, so we went right. That's what you missed today. Exciting times. Um, what's the spell ESP? ESP allows you to uh, read the minds of probably mostly non-enchanted creatures. Um, hang on, I will read you the description. Uh, be able to tune into psychic wavelengths. It may help you read a creature's mind but is sometimes prone to giving misleading information if one psychic source is close to another. It's an extra special person. Um, right, so here is a door. It has strange scrawlings on it. Desperately trying to think of a f funny way of doing that. <laughs> I got nothing. Um... We're just wandering round, wandering down. A, w a wombling free. Don't draw the mouth first, Chris. Auto save. <laughs> uh, hang on, let's just save some time by reading ahead a second. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> just to save us a little bit of time, uh, Beth knocks on the door, and there is no reply. Rather than having to, you know, draw all this and then... 
what I usually do. Rather than wasting all your time, I was pretty sure that would be the case. So I thought I'd better check. what a hand looks like right <clears throat> um good job there's an apron in front of it Yes, arm, um, hide the bad anatomy. Usually you are the bad anatomy, but today... Flamey wanted to go left. And it's got some strange scrawlings in it in a language you don't understand. Still no idea how to make that funny. Um So let's not make it funny. Um, write computer code or a maths proof. That's a language a lot of people don't understand. Um, uh, okay. Um. <laughs> Time to think of a maths proof. Um. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and write out a maths proof. <laughs> uh, uh, uh.
Hang on, what am I proving? <laughs> Hang on, I don't want to... Hmm. Was I trying to prove? <laughs> oh, some of that does. Uh, that belongs to that. Um, can't remember. Anyway, this is the start of the proof of Lagrange's theorem. Um, yeah, it's a language you don't understand. I like group theory, but I've forgotten it all. Um, come back and suddenly there's maths. Yeah, I'm trying to. But what is it I'm trying to prove? I'm trying to prove uh, if you have two elements that are the same in two different cosets, then the cosets have to be the same. So... Yeah, I can't remember what I'm trying to prove. Anywho, blah, 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 blah. What are we doing? We're walking on. <laughs> that was a literal waste of time. We walked past it. <laughs> Beth goes, nah, screw that. Um, I need to sit down and brush up on my group theory. I really do. Um, you continue up the passage. Three, four, three. Is everybody enjoying this? <laughs> Nothing has happened. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't apologize for me not being able to remember math. Um, oh, seriously, really? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Okay, I'm gonna save you some time here because this is weird. Um, Okay, <clears throat> here's, here's some time saving. This is one of the advantages of me mapping this out. Um, you decide to walk down the corridor, past the thing. You come back three months later and completely forget the joke. <laughs> yeah. I just want to prove Lagrange's theorem. It's really straightforward. But for some reason, it's completely eluding me. Um, a little further along the passage, you arrive at another fork where you may go either left or right. Um, you decide briefly just to investigate the left hand passage. Um, the left-hand passage um, carries on for some time, um, and then it turns right again, eventually leading to a dead end. Um, you think, oh, there mustn't be some sort of dead end in this place, just a corridor that leads to nowhere, so you look around for some secret passages. Um, eventually, you feel around the rock and you find that there's a small lever, and you pull the lever and the rock face crumbles slightly and a narrow opening appears. You climb through this opening and find yourself in another passageway. Um, down the passageway into the left you can see a door and decide to investigate and then you realize that the door is actually what you would have found if you just went right in the first place so this was all a waste of time um so you turn right at the pass at the thing um the left hand side just takes you to the right hand side i just thought i'd <laughs> um i remember mapping that out and thinking what <laughs> Um, right, let's just save you the bother. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
Um, punch the wall. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, <clears throat> okay. Something actually is going to happen now. Hopefully. Um, the passageway that actually goes somewhere ends ahead of you at a wooden door. A sign reading pantry is fixed to it. Um, you listen to the door but hear nothing. The door is locked. What do? Um. Pantry. So if I just copy that. <clears throat> I thought I've wasted enough of your time so far. It makes sense for me to try and stop the book doing it as well. It is locked. Um... Okay. Um, okay, I need to map this out as well, don't I? <laughs> so, you carried on. There was a door with squiggles. Which you decided not to go into. Um, then there was a turning to the left and a turning to the right. The turning to the left ended up just going to where the right was. So then you go down here and now there's a door. The secret wall in it. Because, why not? <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to put the wall secret. Secret wall goes there. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da uh, yeah, what are we going to do with the pantry, pantry door? Um, there's no thing here. Yeah. There's still a bell, but no way of operating it. Um, how do we do that? Kind of pop back here.
I did the disjoint union. What's that? I should have done like this. Disjoint sum. Um. Well, it doesn't have to be disjoint, does it? Well, it's kind of pointing out that it's disjoint. Um. Oh, gee. Sure, that does the gist of it. Um, right. What's happened? People wanted unintelligible scribbles, and Ragdoll foolishly suggested maths. So, <laughs> there is the proof of Lagrange's theorem, which is the first theorem of group theory. I don't know why it took me so long to work out what it was, but there it is. <laughs> Moving on. There's a door that says pantry. What are we doing? Um... Actually, what does happen? I, I don't want there to be another situation where you knock on the door. Nothing happens. Uh, You try knocking on the door. Nothing happens. Um, <laughs> the book does not give you the option to knock on the door. I now know why. Um, although to be fair, none of none of your solutions don't say just knock. So that's cool. Why is math? Uh, group, groups are important, and I'm not going to go into that right now um, because I can get very boring very quickly. Uh, <laughs> he says, having already proved a bloody theorem. Um, Right, we have, is that three votes for kicking door, two for knock, then kicking door if no answer, and one for why is math? Um, right. Cool. Um, you attempt to barge down the door by kicking it with your foot. Don't know why, you've got a hammer, but sure. Um... Uh, the door is very much locked shut, and you will have to um, you'll have to barge it down with an awful lot of force. Uh, roll for luck. So roll two d six. See whether you're lucky in breaking down this door. Now, I promise, there's no more maths in the stream. Did I prove it? <laughs> I proved something equivalent, anyway. I proved that for any two given cosets of a subgroup, they're either identical or disjoint. So... <laughs> Which is basically Lagrange's theorem. Um... Clickety-clack, seven. Uh, with one swift kafunk of the uh, chainmail sandal, um, the door crashes off its hinges and thwacks down onto the floor on the other side. Beth, Beth is strong. Why? We should not be surprised. My keyboard is not. Um, this keyboard's been playing up for a while. <clears throat> um, what do you see on the other side? You see a pantry. Close enough. Um, got a lovely simple mechanism. Um, and also it's now sort of splintered off its hinges, so it's nice. That's not where that goes. Um, MC Escher, stop in invading my drawings. Maybe it's in league with the controller, maybe. Or my computer's just bad, one or the other. Right, what do you see beyond the door, apart from a small um, bell in the ceiling? You see! 
and pantry. Um, <clears throat> the room is indeed a food store. At first, the strange smells, a mixture of sweet, spicy, and stale food, take you by surprise. Various meats hang on hooks along one wall. In one corner is a barrel full of exotic fruits. A cheese rack holds a dozen or so varieties of cheese, and Beth knows, apparently, well, I'm not going to say what Beth likes and what doesn't like. Um, Beth knows, notices that some of them are very pungent. Uh, six loaves of black bread stand on one table next to a bread knife and a cutting board. Uh, two other doors lead away from the room, uh, according to the picture. One on the left and one on the right. Um, yeah. What do you want to do? Loads of food! Um, why do I keep drawing things in this perspective when it turns out that there's a way of going left and right? <laughs> so there's lots and lots and lots and lots of food. Thin, ooh, very thin door here. Castles have very thin doors. I've been to a few castles. And they're very economical on the width of their doors. Right. How many draw how many doors have I drawn in this one stream? I don't know. Have you broken all of them? <laughs> um there's a lot of doors in this. Um What are we doing? There okay, I need to read through this again so that I can draw things properly. There is a mixture of sweet, spicy, and stale food. Various meats hang on hooks along one wall. In one corner is a barrel full of exotic fruits. Let's start with those. Um There's also... Helpfully, somebody stuck that on the wall. Um, there's a barrel here, full of exotic fruits. This is the point where I sincerely hope um, you don't ask to eat something that the book doesn't tell me what it does. <laughs> I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> um, here, here's a two-headed banana. Here's um, an orange with with eyes, but nothing else. Here's um uh, a watermelon that is actually made of water. So it's just a big bubble, basically. Um I'm imaginative. I'm gonna I'm if you're gonna say take food, I just wanna point out again, I'll read the page. <laughs> Um, if I can remember where the page is. That there is a mixture of sweet, spicy stuff. Uh, but the various meat hang on hooks along one wall. In one corner is a barrel full of exotic fruits. Cheese racks holds dozen or so varieties of cheese, some of which are very strong. There's six loaves of black bread. Um, you can't carry it all, is what I'm trying to say. Be specific. So there's... Here is a table with six loaves of black bread on it. Also, I'm going to have to save these pages if you decide to take it and eat it later, just to know what it does. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you, unfortunately, you cannot carry an entire barrel full of fruit. You probably, Beth probably could, but you would be extremely hindered in doing so. <laughs> Uh, there's some meat on hooks, uh, so let's build a little thing. That one's just a hot dog. Um, <clears throat> what else was there? Cheese? Apparently, I think there was cheese. You want cheese and bread now? Cheese and bread's good. Um, cheese rack holds a dozen or so varieties of cheese. What is it? What's a cheese rack? Let's invent a cheese rack. <clears throat> it's a small torture device for cheese. Absolutely vital to get all four of those legs in. Um... They said a dozen or so, didn't they? Um, here's some sloppy stuff. Um, here's a baby bell. Um, just a block of cheddar. And another wheel. Oh no, that's half a dozen. Uh, <laughs> and then all of that again. So there you go, there's a rack of cheese. Sorted. Um... Uh, take bread, go left. Uh, some now take two strong cheese and a loaf of bread. Um, so it looks like we're going to take bread. Um, there's no objections to taking cheese, so you can take cheese if you want. Um, I'm just going to have a very brief look at what these things do to make sure that I can actually refer back to these if you do decide to take it. Um, where is my... My bookmark is terrible. Okay, good, cool. Um, right, I am going to have to... Hang up. I have an actual pack of cards here. <laughs> uh, let me grab a joker from them. And that will be my, hey, there's food here, card. <laughs> Sorry, this is all a bit of a, a, a kerfuffle of admin. Um, one, four, six. Did not think this through. 
That doesn't make any sense. That's not what I'm looking at at all. 45. There it is. Good. There is... Here there be cheese. Okay, and you decide, apparently, to go left. Is the meat salted? Um... It's an assault on your senses. Um... No. Make sure it's strong cheese, you don't get the mild crap. You're picking up the extremely strong smelling one. <clears throat> if there's anyone else in this citadel who likes cheese, they will they will find you. Um <clears throat> Okay, so you have added some Hang on, I don't want to see what these do ju just me. Okay, and... Okay, cool. Uh, you take... What do you say? Take bread, go left somehow, take two strong cheese and a loaf of bread. Okay, you, you explicitly make it clear you may take two bits of strong cheese and a loaf of bread that so far most of what's added to the inventory is just food yeah. um right so let me two strong cheese and black bread um, there is no icon for these right now, and we've wasted enough time writing maths proofs. Yay, it updated automatically. Yay! Um, but just know, one of those is cheese, and one of those is bread. Um, okay, cool. And you decide to go to your left that way. Um, which is... Here's a pantry. Let me just indicate this on your thing. This is a pantry. I wonder whether the geography of this book actually makes sense. Um, and you decide to go this way. I suppose theoretically there's a lot of food here. You can always come back and stock up. Um, assuming it's possible. Hokey dokey, you head to your left. Um, lucky number 13. Right, cool. <laughs> it better be possible. <laughs> You have found the source of infinite food. Um, so Beth goes to the room well, to open the door to the left. The handle turns for once and it, you, Beth opens the door into another room where there is plenty of activity. I'm surprised you didn't hear it in the other room, to be honest. Three ugly old women, that's very presumptuous, with long noses and chins are scooting around the room, which seems to be a kitchen of some sort, taking various ingredients from the cupboards and adding them to a broth in a large kettle. There is a joint of meat roasting on a spit under a large chimney. As Beth looks more carefully, you can tell that the meat is not, in fact, an animal, but a whole dwarf turning black in the fire. Um, one of the women glances at you and says, eh, You must be the new servant, or are you the next meal? Whereupon they all begin to cackle <laughs> and shriek with laughter. Um, <laughs> like that. Um, yeah. What are you going to do? I now have to draw three old women with long noses. Um, it's a hag kitchen, you know, one of those. Um, let's say I'm moving perspective all over the place here. Don't worry about it. You keep turning left and right and right and left and right. I don't know where up is anymore. Yeah, apparently they're just cooking a whole dwarf. Like the evil woman. To be fair, they are cooking a whole dwarf. But you don't know what the dwarf did, so... Auto-saving. There we go. Um, there was a chimney at the end of the room, wasn't there? So let's do that. Uh, this is going to be the horizon line, so this needs to be level. Um, actually, didn't they say there was a pot in the middle of the room? 
Do you want meat roasting on a spit under a large chimney? Oh no, there's a, there's a large kettle in the middle of the room. But there's a joint of meat. I'm, okay. <clears throat> Two different things. Um, I need to sort out this. Vote. That is my impression of the laugh I did. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So this is going to be an easy thing to draw. Don't worry about it. It'll take me approximately five minutes. So far, nobody met. seemed like friends, but they all became friends. Yeah, yeah, there's no, there's been no combat so far. Is there? Okay, let's put a whopping great kettle in the middle so that I don't have to... I, I can hide things behind it. Um... I'm going to be on the horizon line, hope you don't mind. Can you give you a hat? Yes, so just to remind you, uh, for anybody who's just started paying attention again, um, which is fair, um, they say to you, uh, ah, you must be the new servant, or are you the next meal? And then they laugh. So if you wish to uh, answer them, that is what they're saying. Um, you're going to have a big old pointy nose. Um, Uh, you can have a hat as well. Um, you can have a berry.
What am I trying to do? I'm trying to do... Not that, but it's like a shawl kind of thing. Uh, and you've just got quite a stonker. also have a hat. Um, haven't quite decided what it's going to be. Um, Hank, you have. I was going to avoid top hat, but then I thought, ah, oh, top hat on top of like an afro is a little cute. difficult when you do dot eyes to make them look up. <laughs> and she's she's holding the salt. definitely works. Um, and Beth is just here going, what? If I look up and see that you voted all for leave. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. That's my fault. But, uh... I think I think I've drawn Beth smiling once. <laughs> it was always just going what? I, I was hired to kill someone. Why do I have to deal with this? Sure. <laughs> 
<clears throat> That'll do. Uh, what was this about perspective? There's also, I think there's probably like a door here or something. Also some shelves covered in bits and boxes and bottles and bowls and more boxes and bullfrogs. Bananas. And the odd bandolier. Okay, you get the idea. <clears throat> um, <laughs> not the majority of democracy doesn't work. What have we got? Um, yeah, with the new servant, what's up? Uh, two for laugh with them, say that we've forgotten an ingredient and leave, and one for um, ignore the majority of democracy doesn't work. Well, we're at a tie again. We're here to kill the wizard, the wonderful wizard of cop. Not pester the service workers, no. Um, they're just they're just doing their thing. Completely out of proportion. Better. So we do have a split between uh, agreeing and saying, "Hang on, um, yeah, what, what's what's going on? What do you want me to do?" Um, or. Uh, going, sorry, missed the thing, and then leaving. I was just wearing sort of casual. Unnecessary detail, unnecessary detail. I'm pretty sure when I drew this before, the handle was on the other side. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> it's a magical door. Um, it can open any way, and when it does, the handle moves. Um, we've changed to pretend to be a servant. Wonderful. I didn't waste my time, <laughs> as I always do. Um, my own fault. Uh -huh. Right, so you say, yep, I'm definitely the new servant. Absolutely, definitely me. The, na the name's Beth, definitely a servant here. Don't mind the hammer. Um, before you can finish saying what you're saying, they thrust in your hands a tray of food. Um and start to push you through the door in the far side of the room um, into the Great Hall, and they say, leave it on the table, the Ganges will be down for their supper soon. They also warn you not to wait for the Ganges, or you're likely to wind up as the next meal. Um, Beth is ceremoniously kicked out of the room um, through the fast door with a tray of food in her hands. Um, into a corridor. I did waste my time. <laughs> well done. 
Um, you're just bypassing all the interesting stuff, aren't you? Um... Yeah, what do you want to do? You've, you've been kicked out with the trade. Do you want to carry on down the corridor? To what is presumably a great hall? Or... Not. Another corridor! I know. How exciting! Thrilling times! Um, did that not work for some reason? Oh wait, hang on, that's gonna be really... yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> okay, I'm relatively pleased with this thing. Um, so what happens is... How exciting. Yes, you just give it a tray of food and go, go, give this to the Ganges, quick! And don't hang around, because they'll kill ya. Um, what, what happens is this room is larger than you originally thought. It's a bit hazy in here, so he was, wasn't, wasn't quite sure about it all. Um, just, I, I mean, just a lot longer. Uh, your head was the vanishing point, wasn't it? It doesn't really matter now, I've moved everything. <laughs> um, perspectives... Uncaring like that. Um, it curves, why not? Um, This is extremely poorly staged. Um, what are our options? You, you've just... Your options are to carry on through the corridor or turn back and say something else to the witches or... Not witches. Um, whatever they are. The evil women. <laughs> As is tradition. Yeah, you just got a tray of food in your hands and you've been told to go down the corridor. That's about it, really. Just wanna... I'm just I'm just looking at my map right now and I'm not gonna say exactly what I'm thinking, but I will say I am amazed at your choices. <laughs> I am flabbergasted. <laughs>
How do hands work? It wouldn't be a stream if I didn't ask that. I think the apron helped sell that you were a... You were a servant. Have you done a speedrun? I mean... I'm not gonna say. <laughs> but just... When this is all over, I'm gonna show you the map. And I'm gonna illustrate on it the path you've taken. Because <laughs> it is quite impressive. It's very weird food. <clears throat> um, they have bones, do they? Oh, that's a problem. I've been drawing them without bones. Oh no. Right, yes, you get pushed out into the big wide world. Um, deliver food, then hide. Fair enough. Um, where are we? We're here. To page 169! <clears throat> so you make your way to the hall, um, which is some sort of grand dining hall. Uh, I've got to draw that as well. A long table, large enough to seat some 40 or 50 people, stands in the center, edged with chairs. Various doors and passageways lead from the room, which I'm going to have to work out. Um, and there are two wide staircases which lead upwards at either, uh, either end of a balcony overlooking the hall. Paintings and suits of armor decorate the walls, but otherwise the room is empty. Um, Beth hides under one of the chairs, but realizes that nobody else is around. Um... Yes, there are lots of things you could do here. <laughs> of course there are. Um... Right, out of that kitchen. Uh... <laughs> okay, do you know what? I'm just going to save myself some bother. Um... Uh, should be... Yeah. Gotta work out the <clears throat> boundaries of room before I start drawing that, I guess. Um, so here's this. This goes up here. It's quite far away. That, I guess.
Okay. I think we should be there when uh, things show up to eat. You don't know. That seems fair. Um, imagine Beth's hiding. Um, just uh, holding a hair over a chair over her. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with it. Uh, paintings line the wall. As do apparently suits of armor. Uh, this is what a grand hall looks like here. Yeah. Okay, let's turn that off. And then here's... These are big chairs. Um... Yeah, that'll do. Um, okay, so my perspective probably wasn't the best choice, but it'll do. No. Um, there's a bit more to be done over here because there are two staircases leading up. Right, what are we doing? I don't know, what are we doing? We're hiding, apparently. Um, I should also point out, hang on, <clears throat> so we came in, there was the pantry, this was a kitchen. With three pointy-nosed friends.
Uh, and we were pushed out of it, let's say here. Into a corridor. Oh god, how am I going to make this mesh up? <laughs> um, into a wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly winding corridor. It went a long way. Which led to... Auto-saving! It led to... The Great Hall! Um, which I'm actually probably actually going to put over here somewhere. Now, you came out of this door. However, behind you are another two doors that have not been investigated. There's also the left-hand side of the staircase, then there's this hand side of the staircase, and the stairs go up to who knows? There's lots of chairs. So, you have many options. There's suits of armor, there's paintings, um, there's a left staircase, a right staircase, and door number one, two, three. You came out of three to get here. Um, let me go back to drawing this, just so now you have all the information at your disposal. Because this is more of a logistical nightmare than I thought it would be. <laughs> Why are you holding it like this, Beth? I don't know. Um, no, you're not. Don't worry about it. Um, just imagine that this makes sense. In perspective. Can you do that for me? That'll be great. Um, we have two votes for sneak upstairs, one for go upstairs, and one for return to the kitchen, uh, live out days as servant. That seems perfectly sensible. Um, I am going to have to ask, have to ask an, a slightly annoying question at this point. Um, the left staircase or the right staircase? You know what that means? Annoying RNG, but there we are. Oh, I did apparently basically just copy the picture from the book. Kind of. This is better. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. Can't see that's a mine's better. That's not how that works. Yeah, left or right? Flip a coin. We have one vote for right. Right? Right? Right. Ah, uh, okay, you uh, ascend the right-hand staircase to see what is before you. I just to point out, nothing has happened this stream. Um, the stairs are well-worn and creak under your weight. Cautiously, you climb up the balcony. Guess what? Nothing happens! 
Along the balcony are three doors. <laughs> of course they're bloody are. Um, left, centre or right? More doors. How are you? You are. You guys are just so repellent of content. <laughs> just like, is there something interesting to do? Right. Let's miss that. <laughs> There's three doors! He went up the right, apparently. And everything was grand! <laughs> this is actually very funny. <laughs> oh dear. Um, there's a fortress of a warlord or an empty maze. I mean, just... Again, I'm just looking at my map. Just <laughs> so funny. Um, it's like Power of the Crossroads all over again. It is, really, isn't it? But you, this time it's doors. <laughs> nothing has happened. I've drawn so much and nothing has happened. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Um, left, going for the left door, right. No, not the right, left. Um... In the left door is nothing. It's an empty room. Congratulations, you've won the game. Um. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? The door's locked. Um, the locked door is very strong. It's made of solid oak. It's unlikely you'll break it down on your own. Um. What do you want to do? Turns out you can't even do it. Even if there is content. No, you're not having it. Go to the middle door. <laughs> oh no, my card fell out. I've lost all my recipe. Um, okay, do you want to go to the middle door? That's fine. We can do that. Um, Gonna jiggle all these handles. That's fine, you can jiggle the handles. Okay, you go to the middle door and you jiggle the handle. Um, this handle actually turns. But before you turn it, you, he you hear, beyond the threshold of the door, you hear little squeaky voices laughing and squabbling on the other side. You wanna go in? I'm not even, I'm not even gonna do the vote at this point, just general, <laughs> general audience consensus. Um, probably I have such little time to draw this and I kind of looked forward to drawing it. L less, well, well, we'll see. Um, yes, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just kidding. We're at the middle. Don't worry about it. Um, content, I know. Um, inside is a brightly colored room, as I will obviously illustrate um a few small beds are in one corner and strewn around the floor are small mannequins of various brutish creatures along the right hand wall is a large box and just beyond the box is a door in the center of the floor and looking up at you quizzically are three small creatures they are human-like but have green skin pointed ears and small eyes um what do you want to do Um, I want to try and do this, okay, to what, because cause the illustration in the book is very, is much more descriptive than the description I've just given you, so I'm going to attempt to do that justice. Here's another box. All of these rooms are boxes. We had one circular room, didn't we? Um, although I will have to attempt to do this actual justice. Um... Uh, so there were beds, and then bunk beds.
Edge drawer pillow. Yeah, whatever, people don't need to know about them. Um, there's a box of things over here. Uh, right, um, right, how, how is this? Uh, is it me or has it gotten very quiet? Not only is there no content, there's no music!
Are you entertained? I hope so. Because there's no real evidence that you should be. I think I need to stop fiddling with this. Um, yeah, and that is the image that I'm probably going to be leaving you with. Um, because it's the end of the stream, in which very little happened. Um, I draw a lot of rooms and a lot of things. And thus far, nothing has happened. Uh, what was going on with that? I was like... Yeah. Something like that? Yes! That's that. And there's another door here. Um, and you will have to ponder what to do with this particular situation. Um, by the looks of it, you're going to be flexing. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, but you will have to wait until Beth is having a less dangerous time than Pal was. Absolutely. Um, you, you only rolled nine luck, but my word. Um, yeah. This is not turning out the way I thought it would. <laughs> you guys constantly surprise me. Um, and I love it. Um, <laughs> impressive considering this book is, this book is much harder. <laughs> so much harder. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming along. Um, you're welcome. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw between streams. I'm gonna draw like 30 doors and then just copy and paste them, as needed. Um, you're welcome, Octo. Um, yeah, miss, miss, draw lots of doors. Or you can draw the old ladies, you can draw the little babbies, you can draw the big hall, um, or the, the butler. Um, is there anything else? Or you can accurately copy out a proof of Lagrange's theorem onto a door. The butler. Yes, that was it. The butler. Um, yeah. This was a weird one, wasn't it? <laughs> Next time, something's gonna happen. 
No guarantees, but... You know. <laughs> it's up to you. I, I have no control over this. Um, it's to draw a door opening into many other do open doors. Corridors leading to corridors. Doors leading to doors. Um, some locked, some not locked. Some with complicated squiggles. Um, that's something will be more doors! Do you want to go left or right? Left. Fine. You go left. It turns out you were going right anyway. Um, I still can't believe that. <laughs> I'm glad I skipped over that. That would have taken us like five minutes. Um, it is dumb, yeah. There's a couple of things. Like, sometimes those things are in there to disguise the fact that there's another path that joins up with it if you would have gone a different way before. Um, but no, that's just it's just in there. For no reason. I remember doing like a kind of double take of like, okay, so this goes here, the left, oh, you open up a secret passageway. Oh, that must be a new area. No, it literally goes to the place you could have gone the previous page. Hmm. Um, but you know, it must be hard writing one of these. They needed another three pages and I'm like, I can't put anything much in three pages, can I? Um, yeah. But you found some cheese and bread. So that's something. Better go back and steal some of the butler to go with that. Um, gonna put another dead end in there. True. But there wasn't a dead end, was there? Because the dead end turned out not to be a dead end. It turned out to be a secret passageway that led back to where you were before. Um. Anywho, enough of this. My brain is just melting. This is a weird, weird stream. <laughs> Um, thank you for coming along. Tomorrow, we're back to Sekiro. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Most useless secret passage. It's a secret passage. It's kind of like, it's an interesting idea. This, this is my secret. But the secret, it's the information that is secret is public. But you don't know what that information is. That's a kind of interesting idea. There's, I'm sure there's some sort of public key cryptography or whatever no, more maths anyway um yeah thank you for coming along Sekiro tomorrow we're gonna carry on climb I, I don't know what we're gonna do climb the tower I guess or go to the poison swamp one or the other um if you missed the last couple of streams both Saturday and Sunday was a Sekiro stream um so we've done mostly side quest stuff but we have fought a few mini bosses in the process um, if it makes you feel any better, I, I've caught up with my personal file back up to where we were before, and I beat the spear guy in two goes, and I beat the old lady first try again. So, <laughs> turns out that's just a fight I quite like. Um, yeah. Anywho, that's tomorrow. I, I assume a Chibi Nether's Day on Thursday. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. It's up, it's up to Chibi. Um, probably. Yeah. Yeah, for probably. More shooty bang bang with Dark or... Well, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, connection issues, didn't you? Probably not, yeah. Um, but other than that, creative on Saturday. On Saturday, we will be designing stickers for next month's Patreon. Um, I have some ideas and those ideas will... Well, I don't, I don't have any ideas, but I have a theme and I will value your ideas because I will probably need a lot. Um, you have a shooty bang bang with Dark, but the shooty bang bang doesn't like streaming with you the good times, yeah. I need a door kicking after this, because screw doors! Th that's fair. I think this is... yeah. Um, Dark's stream is going to be uh, satisfying catharsis after this stream. <laughs> um, yeah, so creative on Saturday, making stickers. Um... Then Sunday, Sekiro. You know the drill. It's on screen. Um, have a wonderful time, everyone. Again, the music is courtesy of Adrian Von Ziegler. Thank you very much. Links down below if you want to check out their stuff. Um, I'll see you around. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for coming along and keep keeping me company during this utter madness. Um, goodbye. <laughs>